Oosterdam is a cruise ship of the Holland America Line, built in 2003. It's a medium-sized ship that can accommodate 2,000 guests. The ship is 300 meters long. Let's see what you can do on cruising days. Oosterdam has two pools, one in the middle of the ship. This is usually fairly busy and loud, because it's surrounded by walls. There's another pool in the back, which has much more atmosphere. The entertainment is not too varied. They have one theatre with programmes of moderate quality. It's not bad, but the problem was that there weren't enough shows. So there were days where it was completely shut down. And uh, even when there are shows, they are extremely uh, short, so 45 minutes or so which I find unacceptable for an audience over 2,000 people. For example, now I came down to a backstage information session. I was a bit late and it's already over. So, not too much entertainment on most of them. Then there is the BB Kings Blues Club. If you are into blues, that could be good entertainment. However, the music is extremely loud all the time. In this area, they have disco every evening, but very few people come. The reason may be that in general, passengers tend to be from the older generation. I enjoyed very much was the Lincoln Center stage, which houses classical music performances. However, it's not a closed stage, so we often get disturbed by bypasses. <laughs> Amsterdam also has a small music stage in a bar called Billboard On Board with two pianists who play delightful pop songs. I was planning to do a behind the scenes tour, but it cost a whopping $150 per person, so we gave it a miss. There are two free restaurants. On the top of the ship, the Lido restaurant, which is open three times a day for several hours and is a buffet type of place. This is our last dinner. Good evening. This is the hi, the second floor of the dining room. 
and uh, if you booked uh, seating then uh, you are at the same table every day so this is the, the lower floor that's free seating and this is our desk Yep. So our food is coming. Hi, this is Mr. Ivan, our lovely waiter. <laughs> okay. So will you miss us tomorrow when we won't be here? See you next time. We will miss you because you are the best waiter we've ever had. The guest is allowed to bring one person. But when you consume it in the dining room, you are charged $18 for the day, but it's still cheaper than, than buying it here. And then uh, they put a little sticker on it, so when you are at the table, it's already there, and you can keep drinking it for days. Happy New Year! We had a balcony stateroom because we like to be able to open the door and feel the breeze. But in the end it was not possible as the room was so noisy. There are fans on the top which emit air all the time and you can't stop it. There is no way to stop it. We already masked some of it off with the tape. But if you completely mask it then it makes a weird sound. So. There you go. So either it uh, and it's cold air, where uh, you can actually catch a cold or hot air, which makes the air very dry. So I had some problems with it because my eyes are very dry. So it's a bit of a letdown. The balcony is nicer. And this sound that you heard, that's uh, this frame and other parts of the frame that are not properly attached to the wall. They have frequency somehow that makes this sound. Enjoy! What you see here is some it's so modern view representing art and this is typical for Amsterdam. Let's take a look at the corridor. The colors are awful. Light brown with dark brown and uh, some dated prints and the doors are grey and nothing breaks it, just dated photo reproductions which maybe would be nice but the way they are represented is just very boring. It's a lost opportunity to to make it more interesting. Overall it was an okay experience. The staff was amazing. But I wouldn't go again with those to them because of the room issues, the lack of entertainment and the mediocre quality of food. Mm -hmm.